So we are going to be on the lookout for plants, pots, plant stands. All right, we're going to take this silverware. Thank you. These are 50 cents each, and then you can tell that they were $30 at one point. Hey everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren and today we are going to be taking a trip in the middle of nowhere, Missouri to hit up over 30 garage sales. And it's not just me, we've got a whole crew with me. Say hello to mom and Nana. <laughs> They're gonna be joining us today as we just go and see what goodies we can find at all of these garage sales up one long highway. Thank you so much to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Let's get on the road. So we are gonna be on the lookout for plants, pots, plant stands, anything for the Airbnb, of course, furniture, and yeah, just any type of stuff that we might find and come across that's a good deal. Like I said, there's like 30 plus garage sales on this road. This is just stop number one. Definitely some good deals. $10 for the big one, five for the little ones. But I don't, I'm not gonna do. Anyway, I was saying those, those tables, great buy-in. I don't wanna fill up the truck too soon and that's just not quite what we're looking for. So on to the next one. All right, we're gonna take this silverware. Thank you. All right, so we got some silverware for the Airbnb, because we have a kitchen, so we need some silverware. Nothing really here that I'm seeing. A lot of smaller stuff. Yeah, there's a rug, not a huge fan. You always look for canvases if you're interested in doing DIY art type of things, because if they are uh, like getting rid of them, selling them, they're typically gonna be really cheap as opposed to buying something new. These are 50 cents each, and then you can tell that they were $30 at one point. 
I might not like the print that's on these, but I can change that with the DIY. I've done a couple of DIYs before with these, and whether it be for our own house or for staging, I think that's a steal of a deal, a dollar for two of these. We're taking a quick break in between all these sales and I wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, June's Journey. And since we're taking a quick break, I'm gonna play a little bit. I have told you guys about June's Journey before and I've been playing it for several months now. I absolutely love this mobile game where you get to find hidden objects and basically be your own detective. When you're chipping away at each and every scene and finding those hidden objects, you are getting closer and closer to solving the mystery. We're acting as June and it is just, she is on a journey and you're helping her go through the journey to find out who is the murderer. I love this because I love true crime and this is like a way that I can be the detective. I listen to podcasts and watch different shows, but this like I am hands on the actual detective and that is what makes this game so much fun for me. All right, I I think mom and Nana are coming back now, so we better get back on the road. Thanks so much to June's Journey for sponsoring this video. There is a link down below in the description that you can go download this game on Android or iPhone and you can get your detective on too. Oh, no, no Shirley. you know, this is so funny. Shirley. I was putting prices on those, on mm -hmm. one of them, and it was Bob, Bob and Shirley. Yeah. And so my little granddaughter goes, how did you get my other grandma's pictures? And uh. I said, what? <laughs> she says, well, it says you're Shirley and Bob, and that's her grandma. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I said, I don't think it's hers, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I, was, I sent her a picture. Is this your picture? <laughs> <laughs> Just a check. <laughs> that's funny. That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> I said, I watch too much Harry Tornado. <laughs> I feel like this would be worth something. It's only $4 and it's like heavy. It's champion. Yeah, but it's just, will I actually go on eBay? But honestly, like it's like a comfy. That's why I think I could see some girl like using that as a home. Yeah, seriously, like me. I think it was just a dollar altogether. They were okay. 25 cents each. Okay. One dollar then. I call that a deal. Thank you, yeah. Do you guys want a map? Um, I think we have one. We have already. one? Okay. Yes, cool. Thanks. All right, thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Yeah, we will. You as well. Yeah. Hope you get rid of a lot of them. Me too. <laughs> I like that color. Drive it. Yeah, that's a nice color. That's right. 47. Oh, wow, only 10 grand? Yeah. Does it run? Is this yours? Yeah, it's perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Oh, well, you're, you're young guy, I want to show you something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did my feet that big? No, I have. Wow. <laughs> Back in high school, that would have got me in some trouble. It would have. <laughs> I had a 72 Cadillac at Saint, and had a bull sitting there in the garage side by side. Uh -huh. You thought that Cadillac would have had a lot bigger back. Yeah, uh, that dresser right there. <laughs> it's pink. 
Someone flipped it, and now they're ready to get rid of it again. Yeah, and we got our own built-in. Oh, hey. You can't record me recording you recording me. <laughs> no, I'm recording you recording me recording you. <laughs> what number are we on? Nine. Nine, number nine. We're on the ninth, ninth garage sale. Pumping. Didn't get to make it to Planet Fitness, so. Two pound dumbbell it is. Oh, gotta do this side. <laughs> Inner working. One pound. No excuses. Oh. Need one. It's even beveled. For what? The room, don't we? But I don't know. That's not a full length mirror. Because yeah, I can only, I have to be like way back here in order to get the full length. This is like a little cool thing, but it's like a stool. All right, we've hit nine garage sales so far, nine. And we are just stopping for a little restroom break. They've got some uh, porta potties over here that we can stop at for, it's pretty much the middle. Although I think there's a lot more sales like that way. And they're more like together instead of like, okay, go down this road and go all the way down and then go on this road and all the way down. I think Neiman said we were hitting about three to four garage sales per hour. <laughs> so you can just imagine that that takes a little while, but I mean, we've gotten some great things and only spent maybe like, my mom's keeping track for me, but maybe like 12 or 15 bucks. Uh, so not too shabby and Everything's holding itself down in the back. We don't really have much back here because all this small stuff, so we're kind of overcrowded in the cab, but we don't want it to blow out, so we got pick and choose. So we're gonna hit the road again and then be sure and keep on watching till the very end because I'll be doing a haul at the end. And then also if you want more behind the scenes, there is a vlog uh, version of this video as well. So you can check out our vlog channel that we release videos weekly over there as well to show you just a little bit more behind the scenes stuff of our lives and all of the more fun side of it. That's called On the Flip Side with Lauren and even link is down below in the description. Four. Four of them. So two dollars. Sweet. Two dollars worth of pot. Forty-five. Forty-five dollars, just not my style. But really nice. And it comes with a mirror. Thank you. And there's a desk. 40. Those are nice. Those are nice. Just a new paint job? Not necessarily nicely painted, but they're nice. Cool ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marble Queen. Marble Queen. That's the one and that's that just the I have. Way that the leaf the has leaves, the leaves. Yep. How they look. Uh, I have one that's like more white than that too. Yeah. Can you this, hold this? That's right? a Marble Queen then too. This isn't. This, this actually, I think, is a golden. It just has kind of a can you hold more this body of a white. Uh huh. And don't quote me on it because I don't. That's just my what huh. I think. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? Is this a... That's a, a snake plant. Snake plant, mm -hmm. okay. I need the baby watcher. Do you mind if I just step inside? I don't think this will hold very well. Hello. Good, how are you? Good. Baby watcher. Baby watcher. 
You want to get that? Yeah, for the... For the, that one yeah. Coming? And then you want to... These do we pay in there for the yeah, garage sale stuff? Yeah, oh, that's there. fine. Oh my gosh. I can't even tell what it's like made of, but it looks yeah. old. It looks really old. Wood, it looks like wood. Woo, holy crap, it's yeah. blinding me. Blinding and hot. Hold on. Thank you. You be a baby looker too. <laughs> yeah, you <he's> cute. <laughs> yeah. You are such a blessing today. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> what does she have on it? 25. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of a cool one. You guys remember Flipmas? Don't show mom, she'll make me get it. <laughs> There's another one too. Same one. It's beat up. I, I've already done, like, I, the next one that I do, like a vanity, one that I chop, I want it to have the legs. Mm. And, like, I've already done one, like, very, 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 very similar to this. Yeah. None of these, you don't need one of those. Together for $15. Okay. If you, so. if you want it for that, otherwise, we can kind of tinker around with what you want to buy. And yeah, I definitely don't want all of it. I was just thinking of three of these, so like a couple bucks or something. or I think that's fine. Okay. I think that's just perfect. Alrighty. We're not totally unreasonable. You're not what? We're not unreasonable. What you doing? Recording her. <laughs> We're thrifting. We recorded on, put on YouTube. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, tell them to come here. <laughs> where, is, where is here? Let them know. Andrew you can, County Auction. <laughs> you got, when do you guys' auction? We're going to do one April 28th. It's Friday. It starts at 6 p.m. Okay, and it smells good in here. Do you have food in here, too, that you offer during them or something? Oh, yeah. There's a snack shack back there. We've got bathrooms. Okay. Parking. <laughs> you heard it here. All righty. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I don't know. I think... What are you thinking about doing with us? Staging. Staging? Mm -hmm. I see. Do you I not just, like those? No, yeah. No, I just didn't know. Uh, I didn't know if you had thought of putting candles in them, actually, too. Oh, no, no. Not necessarily. What is this? I don't know. Some type of something. Uh, oh, on oh. Channel. On YouTube, uh, Furniture yeah. Flipping Teacher is the name. I love repurposing things. I'm good at it. Yeah. Are you? You have to follow us on Instagram and send us some of your stuff that I you am do. I'm real good at it. I can take things and my brother can get all of it. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. I don't think I don't think I could go buy a whole bunch of stuff new after this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Really fun. <laughs> Yeah, well, none of the, the furniture. <laughs> none of the furniture in our house right now is new. It's all re like second hand and painted and then we got, even got like our couch on Facebook Marketplace, all that. The troops are re-energized and we are on to garage sale number, what, 15, 16? We lost track. Ooh. A little cash register. 
I think if anything, those are neat. Yeah, those are. I could change the color, I just, I'm not a huge, like, wrought iron person. We're back home from our wonderful trip. We ended up hitting 20 garage sales. So although we didn't get to hit all of them, that's okay. We still had a really good time and that's what matters most. And then also we came away with some pretty good stuff. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little haul of everything that we grabbed. So my first find was this set of silverware for $5. Not a bad price at all. This is in really nice shape. We are either going to be putting it in the Airbnb upstairs or in our longer term area where we're going to be renting it out hopefully to some nurses. So either way we're going to have a spot for this and $5 for silverware in really nice shape. Can't really go wrong there. So that was a great first find and I think that was at the second garage sale. I don't know the order anymore. <laughs> I just know that that was first. But next we picked up some clothing for Neiman's niece, Amora. We got a little cute heart shirt with bedazzled jewels. We've got some jean shorts, super cute. And then a little butterfly skort, um, which we thought were super cute. And each were just 25 cents. So they almost look brand new. We thought that that was a really great price for some used kids clothes and she will look super adorable in them. We also picked up this frame. I think I'm gonna put it in my office. It actually ended up being free. So the lady had 75 cents on it and then she was like, oh, that's not right. It's only supposed to be a quarter. And so I went to get out a dollar and I was like, I just have a dollar, do you have change? And she's like, you know what? Just go ahead and take it for free. And I was like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, go for it. So we got a brand new frame, hasn't been used for free. Uh, so again, I'm gonna probably put that in my office, maybe like a picture of Neiman and I or some family, something like that. And we also grabbed some canvases. And I told you guys at the garage sale, but these are just great for like DIY purposes. So you don't always have to like what's in the actual canvas, but knowing that these canvases are usually $30 and we got them for 50 cents each, a dollar for two canvases that we can make either some staging art out of or art for like your own home. Maybe I'll make it for the Airbnb. That is gonna be a really fun DIY project down the road. If you haven't seen me make over canvases before check out this video up here because we made some really cool art out of some thrifted finds and it is a really cool transformation uh, and even grabbed this guy for free so they had just you know how sometimes they have a free box so actually there's two shaker balls in there which is great because we actually have one of these that's missing a shaker cup or a ball so perfect um, so that was for free. We always can use some more shaker cups so Neiman doesn't steal mine. And then we picked up these pieces of art. I have no idea any information about them, honestly. I think some of them were hand painted and maybe we'll have to do some more digging about the other two. But this one I thought was really cool. It says that it was in Mexico, which means made in Mexico. So this is probably like a Mexican painting. And yeah, I just, I don't know. We thought they were super neat and only for 25 cents a piece. So we got four pieces of art for a dollar and they're just so unique. This one has a lot of greens in it. Um, so I'm not even sure where we're gonna put them, but I just had to pick them up 
for something. This one we loved because it reminded us of the Oregon coast and all of the trees that are up there. But also, you know, we've we've traveled in Texas and hiked there a lot and lots of these trees are around in the mountainous areas. So that's why we picked that one up and I just love the hand painted and the texture. And then we picked up these two. These two are very unique and very old, I think. Um, so I, they look similar, but they're not the same. Um, probably made in the same, you know, by the same person. It's felt back here, and then it looks like it's painted on the felt. So I'm not even sure, like, I have no idea. If you know anything about these, let us know. But they are, they're really neat paintings. And we just couldn't pass them up for 25 cents each. Next, we picked up some pots because we are collecting plants and we have yet to repot some of our plants. So we started, we don't necessarily want to buy brand new pots because that can get pretty pricey. So we found these for 50 cents each. I actually did have four, but Neiman broke one. So now we're down to three, but they were 50 cents each. So we were in about $2 here. Um, and this one I just noticed actually does say Mexico on the bottom. They, this one does too. So again, could be something from uh, made from Mexico. I'm not really, I mean, that would only make sense. Um, we also did grab a pothos plant at that same garage sale. Uh, they had like a big greenhouse and it was super neat but um, that one already was potted in its own pot, so we don't have to worry about that one. And then Neiman picked this up. It is a super cool find for just $3, and um, it's actually a Nike jacket. It had a slight stain right on this side, but I washed it when we got home, and that stain actually came out. But it looks like I'm gonna need to wash it again because it even got some stain on it already. <laughs> but that is great. It was only $3, and he's super excited because it has some of the Phoenix Suns colors, and he loves that. Go Suns! And then last but not least, but probably my favorite find of the day is this mirror. It, oof, ugh, it was only $25 and it is, from what I can see, it is super, an, a very old mirror. The lady that was selling it was talking about how it was her grandparents' mirror. And so she was probably in her 70s. And so if you think about it, it could be, you know, anywhere from 80 to 100 years old. Super awesome. Um, we are probably going to be putting this in the Airbnb, um, but I just... We've got to be really careful with it uh, so it doesn't pop out and we may need to reinforce it a bit because it did kind of lose some of its backing um, when we were in the truck. The wind kind of took it and ripped it off, but um, that might allow us to see at some point um, the year of the mirror. So if we ever do find that, I'll definitely share it with you guys. Uh, but again, this one was probably my favorite find of the day and only $25 for a super old quality mirror here. Um, and in total, I don't know, we, we wrote it down throughout the trip. We, like I said, we hit about 25 garage sales, um, but I can't exactly remember how much we spent, but I would say under $50 at that garage sale to get all this stuff. So not a bad haul here. Nana came away with some things. Mom came away with one thing for my nephews. So super successful trip. Like I said, we just had a really great time together as well. And at the end of the day, isn't that what matters the most? All right, so that is gonna be it for this vlog, you guys. I am going to be going to put all of this stuff away, and then we are going to be heading over to the Airbnb so you can look out for some more Airbnb content here next week. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.